Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So today's video is going to be another Amazon review. A company on Amazon sent me this airbrush machine, which I will leave the link in the description box down below. So I did actually do a video last night using this, but the video didn't save, so I'm redoing it again today. So it comes with the instructions, tells you how to use it, how to take it apart and how to clean it. So this one again is also wireless, so the, it comes with two batteries and it will tell you on the screen these light up, which I will show you in a second. And they are charged up by a Type-C USB charger. This itself is the actual compressor. And it has the battery there, which just clicks in and clicks out for you to change the battery so I'm going to switch the light off so that you can see this when I turn it off now it is quite loud so they light up giving you the indication of how much battery you've got left then you have your airbrush itself which is very easy this on the back again controls your flow on the top here you would put your little container and it also comes with this now this is really long um, but because I'm going to be doing nails with it I will not be using this part but I think this is for like if you're cake decorating or something or doing makeup, airbrush makeup. It also comes with your cleaning spoolie things, your dropper if you was mixing up in say one of these little pots and you only wanted a certain amount you could do that and it also comes with the tiny spanner which is for cleaning purposes then it comes with only two of these now it doesn't actually come with one of these ones which I'm a little bit unsure why not but it doesn't so you've got a large and a medium I wouldn't say this is a small because it is quite large so I will get everything out of the way and we will test it so i'm going to just show you a quick ombre today and then i will also do an extended video tomorrow so i'm going to be going in with madame glam's pink me up and fresh me up so we'll do a quick layer of this so this company is actually based in the USA so they do ship I think worldwide they definitely ship to the UK but you will be charged I think it was 12 or 13 dollars the airbrush itself is, if I remember correctly, $80, $79-ish. But I will leave the link down below anyway for you to check it out if you wish. Um, also, they... Sorry, one second... They haven't only got this airbrush, they have got different 
airbrushes but they basically all do the same thing anyway so while we're waiting for that to cure I will just get my other colour ready and I will zoom in as well at the time so that you can have a proper view of the actual airbrush so I've told you the price they ship I'm pretty sure they ship all around the world um, but yeah it does come from America so you got to keep that in mind it, I think it took about one week for it to arrive into the UK so if you live into the in the UK it will not take too long to arrive it was rather quick to be honest and it is delivered by every the delivery company every which was obviously Hermes what else so yeah the batteries are rechargeable they do charge relatively quickly i think i charged one that was completely dead last night and i think it was fully charged within 30 minutes which isn't a very long time at all so yeah you can have the airbrush two ways you can have the airbrush attached to the compressor itself or you could have it with the lead that long air lead which I will give that a go but I will do that in another video but yeah so this just no that doesn't attach onto there sorry this attaches onto here you just twist that and then it'll screw into place and then you hold it and do your airbrushing so I am going to keep this all in real time and no voiceovers so it is going to be a little bit noisy but it won't be for very long and then I will give you my opinion on the airbrush. So that should be cured now. Now I am sure that I have made this paint a bit too thin, but we'll have a look in a minute. So I'm going to turn it on now so it will just do that but as soon as you push down and pull it comes on so i'll zoom you in and then we'll do an ombre I'm going to do this ombre in two, so I'm going to do it and then I will go over it. But so far, it's coming out really easily. The lever is very easy to pull back. So, and that sprays out really nice so so far i do actually like it now if i was you i wouldn't do this in a confined space or if you are obviously wear a mask i actually forgot mine but yeah i do normally wear a mask when doing this so we're going to go back in again.
but that is actually a really nice ombre. So I'm going to use just a little design stencil. So I'm going to change my colour out. So while I do this, I will just pause the video. So now I'm going to come in with Madame Glam's Wine O'Clock. I'm just going to do the same as what we did with the first colour. And that is just doing a couple of drops of that. And uh, I only want a little bit of acetone with this one. Because I'm only doing a small stencil. Make sure you mix it really well as well. So that machine actually cleaned out very quick. I think I gave it two flushes, held on to the end of the nozzle so that it would bubble back into the airbrush. So I held on to the end here and then it bubbles back into this part so let's see how it works with a stencil so I'm just going to use one that I've used previously which is this snake Let's just do it there. So I'm going to cure that one. So it is like a two step mechanism you hold down and that'll just give you air you let go the only way that you would get your color to come out of here is if you hold down let me just get a pad so i can show you let me zoom back out a bit so i've got my pad here so i'm holding down and nothing's coming out the only way you would get your product to come out is if you hold down and pull back. Then you've got your product. So hold down for just there, pull back to get your colour to come out, which I think is quite a good thing to have. So obviously that is my fault because I didn't remove the, um, oops, I haven't even cured it. <laughs> I forgot to press cure. Right, we'll do that again. So give me a second. Sorry about that. So I think there will be enough left in there. Right. We will now cure that 
so yeah i will give you a demonstration now of how i would clean this this is only gel polishing this remember so i will pour me gel polish in not me gel polish me acetone i would hold on to the end and i think you'll be able to see in there can you see it bubbling so that is actually bubbling up so it gets out from under here in this part here now you don't want any acetone or anything going up this part or down there you always want it to just come out this front part then take that off give that a shake out release what's left in there which is actually nothing no oh, slightly. so you would release all of that get your acetone again and hold it pull it back and then just spray and as you can see there's nothing no residue coming out of that now and then you would obviously just take this off now and then just wash that separately but as of right now that is now clean and the reason for your little spoolie bush things is I don't know if you can see down there that's what you need to clean to be honest, I'm not sure how often, but I would probably clean that. But like I said, I was doing the video yesterday, so that is not actually gel polish. It's actually acrylic paint because yesterday I was using these paints. But yeah, I don't know what happened to the video. So let's see what this stencil has done so I'm going to give that a wipe now the stencil itself it bleeding like that that's me because I didn't take that off before actually doing it but there is a way that you can clean that up and that is by getting something sharp and just removing it yourself but I'm just gonna leave it so now we'll do a final top coat and then that will be the finished design for this review but like I say within the next couple of days I will do another design using it a more in-depth design using it but yeah I'm happy with that so I will leave the link in the description box down below where you can find the item thank you so much for watching bye